Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. I almost had to stuff a sock in your mouth. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. The droid was obsessed with rage. If we're going to destroy it, we may need to keep it calm or push it over the edge. That's good to know. We need every advantage we can get. Too bad the droid's the least of our worries. Someone sabotaged the throne while you were plugged in. Any chance you saw them? No, but the droid said it was the same person who lured us to Iocath. Someone close to me. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? You're a trained spy, Theron. How do I know you haven't been playing me all along? You're joking, right? If Theron's a suspect, so am I. Then there's Malcolm, Ego, Visla, Satil, the entire Alliance army. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I won't let one traitor turn me against my followers. They've earned my trust. I'm glad someone hasn't lost their mind. Trust is a risk, now more than ever. Commander, I knew you'd pull through, and back in fighting shape, no less. I hope you're ready to return to the front lines. Their Empress is dead. Are the Imperials really refusing to surrender? Afraid so. The imps are dug in and armed to the teeth. Now that scene is gone, they're more desperate than ever for control of Iocath. The Empire can't fight forever. Without Asina's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. Victory's never been closer. We need to keep hammering the Empire. Day by day, hour by hour. Only then will we win this war. Excuse me, my lord. Quinn, what do you think you're doing here? I'm finished with the Empire. As of five minutes ago, I'm an official prisoner of your Eternal Alliance. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck dealing with us, Commander. I'll see you on the battlefield. It's been a long time, Quinn. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused and found myself in Imperial prison. I was locked away for years until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. And now you've traded one prison for another. Before they lock me away, I have to tell you how much I valued our time together. If you care to pardon my crimes, I would gladly return as your humble and dutiful servant. We've had our ups and downs, but you've served me well. Welcome back, Major Quinn. Thank you, my lord. You're too kind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will freshen up and acquaint myself with your new colleagues. A colourful bunch, I'm sure. If you require my assistance, you need only ask. Uh, 
I know you two have a lot of history, but he could be our traitor. The question is, do you trust Major Quinn? Quinn and I have endured a great deal together. He'd never betray me, not again. In that case, I'll cross him off the list of suspects. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all.